Hey guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a basic SEO topic, and that is, what is cross-linking? So, okay, cross-linking goes back to many, many, many years ago. Do you remember going to websites, and you'd maybe find a URL that, I don't know, you just stumbled across it, maybe in the footer of it, and you came to a page that just had a bunch of links on it, right? Those are known as link farms, or were known as link farms. No one really has link farms anymore. Um, these link farms were essentially the old days of cross-linking. So a link farm is essentially one website owner would say, hey, other website owner, I'll link to you if you link to me. Be you create a bond, yes, yes, hand, you know, digital handshakes. And that one person would link to the other person from their link farm, and the other person would do the same and link back. And that's essentially a cross-link. Now in this day and age, a crosslink is essentially if you own multiple domains, you know, you own domain um, dot, you know, domain a.com, domain b.com, domain c.com, and you're strategically linking from domain a to com, a.com to maybe domain b.com in a couple of keyword instances, domain domain c.com in a couple of other instances. And on those other domains, domain a, a b and c, they're linking back to a um, for some, you know, some keyword opportunities and as well, and that's sort of a a, a, a cross-linking map, right? They're they're linking, you know, this is link, linking from one to the other to the other to the other, and they're just kind of linking back and forth to one another. And what this really does is it helps in terms of page rank flow, right? You're increasing domain authority across multiple websites, and you're leveraging that domain authority and, and individual page authority. By linking to each other website that you that you own, so that's a sort of an internal cross-linking strategy. That's really what a cross-link is all about. But a cross-link, in its most basic level, is a link from one place and a link to another, one way and the other way. And that's really about it. Cross-links are, like I said, a good way to administer some domain page rank authority. Um, through you know through a couple of different owned websites that you may have, cross-linking also works. It, it's kind of known as internal linking, but you can also call it a cross-link when you're linking to um, different pieces of content within your own website. So maybe you have a branded part of your website. It's maybe it's very educational focused. It's a big resource hub, etc. And you're linking in that to maybe a services page or a product page. And that product page and services page might be linking back to that page. You know, and you want to learn more about this topic? Great, we've got this learning resource center. Here's a page about that topic. Bam, right? There's a cross link established there because, again, the, the learning center page is linking to the services or, or the product one, and the product or services page linking back to the um, learning center one. So that's a cross link. Again, my name is Christian Bullock, 365 Days of SEO. We're talking about cross links today. See you guys tomorrow.